What's up guys, Beatles are back here for another review, and this time I'll be reviewing Ralph Carlo from the Disney Pixar Cars 3 line of 2017. So to start this video off, like I have the past few videos, I will be showing you all the options for today's video that you can vote for. The options for today are RV, Mr. Drippy, these are the both the leftovers from last time. And the new option today is Airborne, the rubber tire car from the Walmart exclusive line. So, any of these three cars, please do vote in the comment section below, which I should review, because uh, I need some cars to review. So if, and it does give you guys a bit of a say in what I should review next. So, yep, I guess it is kind of a nice thing to do. So, I also have another question for you guys. I was going through my cars that I have in the box. I had this tote of them. And I had some cars in the box, and I stumbled across I stumbled across this Sarge and Corporal Josh Coolant Disney Store two pack. And I don't think it's from the Disney Store because the Disney Store doesn't do two packs like this, or they didn't. I think it was from, and this is not a Disney Store price tag, so I think that this was from maybe a J.C. Penney's or a Macy's most likely. And I was wondering if you guys think that I should review this because I found it and I had two of it. So I think that it would be cool to review. And so do comment down below if I should review this Corporal Josh Coolant and Sarge 2 pack from the Disney Store. I may end up reviewing it anyway in the future, but if you guys do vote for it, I will uh, review it sooner. So uh, yeah. Now, on to Ralph Carlo's review. So, here he is. He has a nice blue and light blue paint job. So, it goes from blue in the front to a light blue in the back. He has a grill, which represents a mustache like usual. Headlights with some indicators there in orange. Is that a chip? That's a chip. Okay. He is number 117. He has a light year above the fender, like most stock cars from Cars 3 do. He has this red line going across his hood with the Little Torquey Pistons logo. That is his sponsor. And it has Little Torquey Pistons and a little piston there with the smiley face on it. Reminds me a bit of, I'm not sure if this is outside of the U.S., but in the U.S., I remember when I was younger, uh, we went, we still do to this day go to this, um, fast food place called Sonic. Um, many, uh, towns or cities would usually have Sonic. It's just a drive-in, you can order your food and then they bring it out to you. I remember when I was younger, I used to get these little, um, they're called, I'm pretty sure, Wacky Packs or whatever they're called. They're little kids, um, they're, uh, kid kind of meals and they come with a little toy and they had these little tater tots that were, um, like, that had eyes and mouths and stuff. That reminds me a lot of those. But I'm droning on a bit, so I need to hurry up. He has brown eyes with a very determined expression. Number 117 with some roof laps that if you feel the roof, you can feel. He has black bars along the window. A Little Torquey Pistons logo. And the Little Torquey Pistons logo does have a blue background. Almost like a sticker that they just stuck on there. Like uh, an actual sticker. Oh, my bad. I just moved my table. He has some little bolts holding in the spoiler on his back. He has this nice wave design. I'll zoom in so you guys can see it a bit better. But this nice wave design going along. And goes all the way to the back. Ignore the chips, please. I know this thing has a couple chips. Like right there. Right there. Some on the back, most likely. A lot of my cars, I got some brand new cars for Christmas, and um, a lot of them got shit because I got the Florida 500 Speedway as well, and I decided to try out some of my cars on there, and like Terry Cargas here, he's a pretty hard to find car. He got shipped back here in the back a couple times because of that Speedway, and I have a very, very damaged Jackson Storm that does not have the bars on the window that I use this version with the bars on the window to show all my videos, but the other one is very badly damaged, and I do not want to have to show it on camera because it's that badly damaged, but it's all due to that Florida 500 Speedway. Just that. I do not suggest, I would suggest getting it if you're going to do a custom of some sort with it, 
but I would not suggest um, putting your cards in there unless you have duplicates. I do have a duplicate Jack and Storm, so it's all right, as well as McQueen and Brick Yardley, as well as some other cards. Um, I have duplicates of, so I can use those in the launcher. At least I I can use any of my cards in the launcher, but I choose to use duplicates like Storm, McQueen, and Brick that I have. He has red rims with black light your tires. His sponsors are, if I zoom in here, I know what they are, but just so you guys can see, the camera will focus. Well, they are the Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitroid, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid. This camera. Focus. Focus. It's a bit blurry. I'm sorry about that. The camera is not focusing. Maybe if I zoom it out and then zoom it back in. No, nothing. Wow. Well, you can kind of see Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitro Wayne, Clutch Aid. Oh, there you go. Now you can see him. So those are his sponsors. He has a little red arrow so the pit crew will know where to lift him up to change the tires. Number 117. A red kind of wave going all the way to the back here with the little Torgy Pistons logo and a gas cap. And a little mark here that says little Torgy Pistons. And same thing on this side as well. And on the back, he has a little camera back here just like he did in Cars 1. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait. Huh. Most Cars 1 racers that had cameras have one again um, in Cars 3, but um, he actually gained one. But it says little Torgy Pistons here with the camera that the reporters can use to watch the race from. Maybe, let's say that there was a race going on and um, there was a race going on and there were cars racing along like this. If you wanted to, you could go to Ralph Carlo here because he does have a camera in the back and show Cal Weathers here racing, and it's pretty neat. I know NASCAR has ones in the back, one on the dashboard, and one at the window. I That's all that I know they have. At least I think they have one at the window. I know they have one on the dashboard and in the back. He has number 117 here on behind or underneath the headlights. With some bars you're holding in the spoiler. His base has some parts here. And some Mattel information as well as a date stamp. So a pretty neat car. I really do like him. And I will compare some of the other cars of his model. Like Darren Leadfoot, Cal Weathers, Mary Clutchburn, Terry Cargas, Which should not be his model. All of these other cars are the model in the movie. But Terry here... Should not be the model because he is a new sponsor. And this model, except for Cal Weathers, all are characters returning from Cars 1. And Terry was not in Cars 1. This sponsor was not. And if you do look back in the movie, you can't see that he is this model. This Brick Yardley model of stock car. So this is what Terry should have been. I hope Mattel does uh, correct that in the future. But well, I doubt that they will. Here's Ponchi. Here is Terry. Now Terry is not supposed to be the model, but since he is the model in the diecast, I will show him. Here's Murray Clutchburn. Cal Weathers. Here is Darren Ledfoot, the shiny wax racer. Here is Bobby Swift, the um, another model of stock car that there is. And here is a Brick Yardley, uh, the final model of Stop Car, Cars 3. Here is Lightning McQueen, the Rusty's racer from Cars 3. Here is the Cars 1 version of Ralph. So they definitely have evolved a lot. So they now have a lighter blue instead of a darker blue. Now this is the case for most uh, Stop Cars from Cars 1 to Cars 2. The same thing goes for Ponchi Wipeout. But Ponchi's a bit weird with his eyelids and his rims and all that stuff. But Ralph here, the Cards 2 version has brown eyes. Cards 1 has green eyes. It's a bit weird, but it's like that for most cars. They did get rid of most of the white, I see. 
Xbox One has a lot more of a simple design, but still very nice. I actually think I prefer the Cars 1 version over Cars 3. Cars 3 is great, but I really like the Cars 1 a lot better. The next gen Little Torquey Pistons Racer, I might as well say this now, but the next gen Little Torquey Pistons Racer is already been found uh, due to an Amazon link with uh, pictures. He is going to be in a two pack, or we're, uh, we're not sure if it's a he or a she, but uh, they are going to be in a two pack with the next gen Synergy in the next gen Pistons Cup Racer series. So, pretty cool. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this review, and I will. Once again, show you the options for today. Please do vote the comments between Mr. Jippy, RV, and Airborne in the comments below. And also, don't forget to put in the comments whether I should review this two-pack or not. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in my next review, which will be whatever you guys chose for my Chester Wilbur, Fletcher McQueen, and Francis Beltline review. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!